Legends and mysterious creatures. Every place in the world has them. Scotland is famous for the Loch Ness Monster that fooled everyone for decades until proven a hoax. Three in ten Americans believe Bigfoot is real, and every year hundreds or thousands of people search for the legendary humanoid in remote woodland areas. With that said, we visit the Lone Star State and take a look at five most mysterious creatures caught in Texas. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day for more amazing content. With that being said, let's begin. Number 5. Mysterious Fanged Sea Monster There have been many things that have washed ashore due to severe storms or hurricanes. Some things aren't meant to be seen by human eyes, and perhaps this is one of them. After Hurricane Harvey did its thing near Texas, a horrible looking creature washed up on the beach. After high winds and heavy rains brought by Hurricane Harvey, the mysterious sea creature with fangs and no face washed up on the shoreline in southeastern Texas. Preeti Desai, who is a social media manager at the National Audubon Society, found the mysterious monster on September 6, 2017, on the sand not far from Galveston. The next thing she did was photograph the creature and ask everyone on Twitter, what the heck is this? Not long after posting her query, a lot of answers started to come in, such as, it's a mysterious alien monster, while another person said, it looks like it's from a horror movie. Some other guesses were that it might be a prehistoric sea creature, and the always handy Chupacabra. Seeing how the answers coming from the internet were everything but what it really might be, someone suggested that she contact Kenneth Teague, a biologist with the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History. Teague, an eel expert, told Earth Touch News that the creature was most likely a fang-toothed snake eel, or Aplatophis chaliodis. Fang-toothed snake eels live in burrows 100 to 300 feet down in waters stretching from the Gulf of Mexico to French Guiana, with only snout and eyes exposed, darting to feed on other fish and crustaceans, according to Fishbase, an online database for fish species. Whatever the official name of the scary-looking creature, its presence on the beach certainly resulted in 15 minutes of fame. The finder of the creature wrote on Twitter, Hey guys, so this thing wasn't frightening, wasn't colossal, and wasn't a monster. It was just a damn sea creature trying to live its life. To which one woman replied, I keep saying we need to look for aliens in the ocean, not space. Crazy stuff lives down there. It is more interesting, after all, to think that some bizarre alien creatures live deep in the vastly unexplored oceans of our own planet. Number 4. Chupacabra For those of you who don't know what a chupacabra is, here's a little cryptozoological history. Sightings of the rumored chupacabra began nearly 20 years ago in 1995. A woman in Puerto Rico claimed that a 5-foot-tall, hairless creature that looks like a combination of a reptile, dog, alien, kills livestock by biting the neck and sucking the blood out. In fact, the creature's name actually translates to its alleged diet. Chupar is Spanish for to suck, while cabra means goat. And so, the first stories that emerged about the so-called goat sucker include a creature that is rarely seen but leaves a trail of dead livestock in its wake. So now that you understand what the creature is, we get to the story of a Texas family that believes they finally captured the elusive chupacabra. The couple captured their so-called chupacabra on their Ratcliffe property Sunday. They were seeking confirmation that they had made the once-in-a-lifetime discovery of this elusive and murderous creature. The weird photos that the couple took show what seems to be a hairless dog in a cage, but it stands on its hind legs and uses its front paws like a raccoon. The woman of the couple, who's obviously a chupacabra expert, said it looked like a baby chupacabra. She would know, we guess. Okay. Many people have claimed to have captured a chupacabra in the past. The animal is typically considered to be hairless, but many experts say would-be chupacabras could just be animals with mange, a skin disease caused by mites that cause animals to lose their hair. But there are answers for what the animal in the cage might actually be. So what could the hairless, scary, dark, leathery-skinned creature be? Well, mammals become dehydrated without their fur. Their skin shrinks and darkens, and their snouts and teeth become more pronounced. Their skin is very tight when they become dehydrated, so their teeth and their claws are very prominent, so they do look like a monster. 
A hairless coyote or a hairless raccoon looks nothing like the real thing, so it adds to the legend. Most of the mammals who get mange end up dying from starvation or dehydration. Humans commonly encounter these mammals as they are dying of starvation because they'll approach human homes and farms in search of food. Whatever the creature is, there have been many sightings of what people call the chupacabra, and as history has shown, it is certain that many more will happen. Number 3. Texas Big Bird Back in the mid-1970s, there were all types of strange sightings of a giant flying bird across Texas, but most of the sightings were around the Rio Grande Valley. So what happened? It was winter, 1975, and two cops out of Harlingen were on patrol when they saw a giant bird with a wingspan of about 12 feet. They stopped their vehicle and got out to take a look at this unbelievable flying creature. One of the police officers said to the other, What the heck is that? Is that a giant pelican? The other responded, No, that ain't no damn pelican. It's flying right towards us. Quick, get the hell in! And then they drove off into the sunset. So they drove away and told the story to the press, who just regarded it as police having too much time on their hands. Or not enough donuts, am I right? <laughs> uh, all right. And while that might sound crazy, there are many reports of the same thing throughout Texas. Television footage showing three-toed footprints measuring 9 inches by 12 inches and believed to have been left by Big Bird fed the fear felt by area residents. When one eyewitness said he believed the bird was large enough to easily scoop up a small child off the ground, well, parents began to keep their children indoors instead of allowing them to venture outside to play. Fear took a tighter grip on the valley after January 5, 1976, when a Raymondville man told police officers he was attacked by the bird. The man's neighbors found him in his backyard shaking and screaming and reported that his shirt and jacket were torn. Big Bird became larger than life when the tales about it were told over and over. There's a story which is connected to the Big Bird that involves mysterious cattle mutilations. It's a true story that happened in Star County in the early 1980s, Javier wrote. There were reports of the bird killing cattle because the ranchers were finding cattle mutilated and drained of their blood. Sounds like the chupacabra. There was no explanation, and people were shocked because the cattle were supposedly mutilated using surgical instruments and there were no tire tracks or footprints near the dead cattle. After the bird disappeared, there were no more reports of mutilated cattle. Did the mysterious Big Bird of Texas really exist? Number 2. The Mysterious Mountain Lion Puma Panther Cougar Catamount El Leon Ghost Cat With 18 Native South American names, 25 Native American names, and 40 English names, this big cat has a big list of sober quays that all boil down to the same thing, the mountain lion. Much like the legendary Bigfoot or Yeti, the elusive mountain lion has also acquired its own mythical status. The secretive and solitary nature of this species makes them notoriously difficult to study and understand. Although there's much we still do not know about the secretive lives of mountain lions, Innovative research techniques and technology have allowed biologists to get a glimpse into the behavior, diet, and ecology of these mysterious big cats. Some of you might not know this, but the mountain lion was hunted to extinction during the last century. But throughout the Blue Ridge, there are claims from Texas locals that the big cat has returned. Cattle have been reported injured or missing amid reports of a large, ghostly, cat-like figure roaming the pastures and tree lines. The eastern cougar was once a big predator in the Blue Ridge, but like any big predator in this region, their story is one of demise and loss since the first settlers came. Now it is genetically and geographically extinct. That doesn't mean that cougars cannot and will not make their rare appearances in the Blue Ridge. In October 2014, a trail camera snapped a grainy photo of a young mountain lion lurking around a deer feeder near Glen Rose, about 50 miles southwest of Fort Worth. Brookhaven College in northwest Dallas County sent out an unusual warning. A mountain lion had been spotted on campus, and students should take caution. A month later, residents of Steiner Ranch just outside of Austin filed two reports of mountain lion sightings along a trailhead in the wooded community. 
In May, a woman called authorities to report that a mountain lion had attacked and killed her daughter's horse near Claiborne, just an hour south of Dallas. Of all the wild things that wander Texas, none come close to the mystery of the mountain lion. People see them where they are not. They don't see them where they are. Yet mountain lions do exist in Texas, and they wander far and wide. But do they venture as far north as North Texas, creeping up the riverbeds, prowling for wild hogs and deer? The answer is that no one really seems to know. Since 2011, more than 250 mountain lion sightings have been reported to the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department from all over the state. Perhaps there is a mountain lion there. And perhaps there isn't. Number 1. Goat Man The terrifying creature of White Rock Lake, Dallas, Texas is its legendary Goat Man. The saga of the lake's mysterious and supernatural resident is one that particularly intrigues me, as I lived at the lake from 2003 to 2008, and it wasn't long at all before I got to hear the lowdown of the pan-like creature. Interestingly, there are no less than three goat men tales or legends in the Lone Star State. Certainly, the most well-known one is the goat man of Lake Worth. One night in the summer of 1969, all hell broke loose. A man by the name of John Reichart, his wife, and two other couples were parked at Lake Worth when a monstrous-looking creature came charging out of the thick woods. Reportedly covered in both scales and fur, it slammed with a crashing bang into the hood of the Reichart's car and even tried to grab hold of the not surprisingly terrified Mrs. Reichart. It then raced off into the pitch-black night into the camouflage of dense surrounding trees. The solitary evidence of its dark and foreboding presence was a deep, foot-and-a-half-long stretch along the side of the Reichardt's vehicle. For weeks, the crazed creature was seen by other people. Some witnesses claimed it had horns. Others said it had hooves rather than feet. Hence, the name it got. The Goat Man. The legend begins in a place called Denton, Texas. As for the stories that revolve around the creature's presence, one legend says that many years ago, wannabe devil worshippers in the area inadvertently opened up a portal to some hellish realm that allowed the vile beast open access to our world. And now, today, and as a direct result of this reckless action, the Goat Man has no intention at all of returning to the Twilight Zone from whence he came. Hence, his deep desire to forever haunt the old steel and wood bridge at Denton. And that's just one of three explanations for this beast's presence. No one knows if the creature really exists or not, but it is certainly mysterious, and there are lots of cool stories surrounding it, so check it out. Alright, Top Fivers, if you haven't already, make sure to visit our other channel, The Brilliant, for even more interesting list videos that'll blow your mind. Oh, but I'm warning you, the videos over on The Brilliant are extremely addicting to watch as well. There will be a link in the description to the channel, so make sure to come and visit us. Or you can go to our latest video popping up on screen right now. Oh, and have you visited thefinestpost.com to enjoy the most amazing articles you will ever get to read?